Okay, so this program will use a method to <clears throat> give a description of an earthquake using the Richter scale. So what we can do is um, just start by prompting the user system dot out dot print enter a magnitude on the Richter scale. So <clears throat> that can be like, uh, you know, one up to usually around eight or so. A anything more than eight is really, really huge. So now we can store that in a variable. Double Richter equals in dot next double because we're using the scanner package and this object. So we can um, uh, use it here and store the variable that the user, the variable that the user enters into this value. <clears throat> and then string description equals get description Victor. Okay. <clears throat> and then we'll print that out. So system dot out print description. So now what we have to do is do this method. See it's red because it hasn't been declared yet. So we can declare that here. Public static string get description double Richter. Okay, so if uh, Richter is greater than eight 0.0 then we'll say return most buildings collapse okay and <clears throat> we can do if Richter is greater than or equal to 7.0 um, we'll say many Structures damaged. Okay, and I could just actually copy and paste this to make it a little easier. And notice that these aren't else if statements because um, you're using the return uh, statement here. So if if the Richter uh, variable matches this um, expression, then it will it will run. Uh, the return statement and then that's why you don't need the else ifs so greater than or equal to six lose some buildings collapse equal to uh, maybe like five yeah okay that's good a few maybe okay otherwise return no Okay, so <clears throat> it'll go through each of these, and if it matches this condition, we'll run that, and if it doesn't match any condition, then it'll just return no description, no destruction of buildings, and we store that in the description here. Okay, so let's see if we can run that. What's this error? The method is undefined for the type earthquake. Hmm. I th spell description wrong that's why okay run that let's do three no destruction let's do six some buildings good because it's greater than or equal to six let's do nine most buildings collapse okay so that's working pretty well um and i'll just show one more way how to do this uh this time it'll just use a single return statement because uh, some programmers think it's bad practice to have all these return statements um, kind of repeating yourself like this. So we can do this a little bit differently. What we'll do is um, make a variable here. So string result equals no destruction of buildings. Okay, and then we can delete this one. And we'll just do, um, instead of return, we'll do result equals. Okay, so we're just storing the string value into this variable. 
and then at the end we can return that so we can do return result but the important thing to keep in mind here is that because you don't have return statements within these conditionals then you should do use else if statements okay so it'll go down the line here and if the numbers don't meet these conditions then it'll just return the result which by default is no, no destruction of buildings so let's see if that version worked four no destruction good uh, let's do 7.3 many yeah looks good and 5.2 okay so yeah I think this way is a little bit cleaner just using one return statement in the method.